welcome back to Crawford Clark Close Up and our third year of Halloween Horror. Whilst this video is not strictly speaking Halloween themed, it's safe to say that Reese Shearsmith and Steve Pemberton's often anarchic and brilliantly constructed anthology of short stories that make up Inside Number 9 can be scary, funny and poignant, sometimes simultaneously. From the creative minds behind The League of Gentlemen and Psychoville, Inside Number 9 is arguably the duo's best work to date. In this video, we're counting down the nine best episodes of the first five series of the show. Before we launch into our list, we have a couple of honourable mentions, the first of which goes to the first episode of the first series. Sardine sees a group of adults at a house party playing the game of hide and seek, all within the claustrophobic confines of a wardrobe. It's very conversational throughout and you wonder where the story is going until the twist that comes in the final moments that takes you by surprise. It's only just outside our list, as is the underrated The Understudy from Series 1, La Couchette, which opens Series 2, Series 2 closer Seance Time, which is a fun bit of hokum until the chilling ending, as well as the emotional Bernie Clifton's dressing room from Series 3. Whatever your tastes, you're bound to find something you enjoy over the five series and 31 episodes so far. Let's get the housekeeping out of the way. Come and find Crawford Clark Close Up on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can also drop us an email with suggestions for future reviews on the channel to crawfordclarkcloseup at gmail.com and you can now find us on Letterboxd. Just search CC Close Up. Most importantly, if you enjoy this video, please consider clicking subscribe at the top of the page to ensure you don't miss out on new content as soon as we upload. We kick off our list at number 9 with Series 4, Episode 3, Once Removed. Told in reverse chronology, this is the story of a woman and her elderly father preparing to move house when a mysterious visitor posing as a removals man arrives with a very different idea of how things are going to proceed. Monica Dolan, David Calder and Amelia Fox head the starry lineup in this well-constructed episode. We stick it with series four at number eight with perhaps the show's most ambitiously crafted single episode, The Live Deadline, broadcast within days of Halloween in 2018, sees the cast beginning to play out the story when things go awry at BBC Television Studios. The editing techniques deployed here are superb and the episode is genuinely unnerving. At number seven, we have the brilliantly conceived The Bill, episode two of series three, which sees an argument ensue between dinner guests in a restaurant as to who is going to pay the bill. With this one, you really are waiting for the twist, and while it takes some time to get there, you won't be expecting how it ends. Jason Watkins and Philip Glenister are excellent support in this, one of the highlights of a middling third series of the show. Just losing out on a place in our top five, we've got series one, episode two's A Quiet Night In. Two burglars are trying to steal a valuable painting from a luxury house without being spotted by the owners or their maid. What brings this into our list is the clever manipulation of sound throughout the episode until the final twist. You're a better person than I am if you could see this one coming. We begin the top five with series two, episode four. Cold Comfort sees Steve Pemberton's Andy start as a new volunteer for a mind line for comfort support. Andy seems to be getting on well until a persistent female caller continues to call him and also an another new member of staff that he's training up to state that she's going to kill herself. Will Andy discover the truth too late to do anything about it? Top turns from episode regulars Pemberton and Shearsmith in this clever episode that really catches you off guard. At number four is the first episode of series four. Zanzibar is a fascinating episode, expertly written and designed, and Shakespearean in its approach. A group of strangers have unwittingly booked rooms on the ninth floor of the Zanzibar Hotel in London, and their lives and activities begin to intertwine. In third place, we have The Riddle of the Sphinx, our last selection from series three of the show that must have taken some very methodical planning. A student breaks into the office of a university professor and begins learning how to solve crossword puzzles through the professor's cryptic clues to impress her boyfriend, who is also studying on the campus. 
As the truth begins to unravel, things take a sinister turn in another brilliantly conceived instalment of the show. Before we can unveil our two favourite episodes of Inside Number 9, let us know your favourite nine episodes of the show in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just missing out on the top spot, we've got the third episode of Series 1, Tom and Jerry, which sees Shearsmith's unhappy with work Tom take in Pemberton's homeless man from the street when the latter finds his wallet that's been left on the street. Soon, Gemma Arterton's Jerry is sidelined from Tom's life by Mig, the homeless man, who turns Tom's life into a nightmare, cutting himself off from everyone else around him. The acting is particularly special in this poignant episode, with a finale that you're still unwilling to believe, even after you've got to grips with the story. So, number one will likely be no surprise to any fan of the show. It's the perfect 12 Days of Christine, the second episode of the show's second series, with Sheridan Smith bringing such depth to the seemingly middle-of-the-road Christine. This one takes multiple viewings to notice all the nuances, but the first time you watch, you'll be floored by the ending. So, there you have it. No spoilers for those who are yet to get acquainted with the show, but are interested. I have my wife to thank for introducing me to the show, as it's really one of the most creative anthologies I've seen for a long time. The show was also BAFTA award winning for Steve Pemberton. BAFTA goes to Steve Pemberton in side number nine. Oh, wow, thank you so much. I really was not expecting that. Give Inside Number Nine a chance. I think you'll find something to enjoy and scratch your head over. Coming up next, our Halloween horror season proper starts with our 40th anniversary retrospective of the Friday the 13th series. Thanks for watching, and for now, until next time, that's a wrap.